Welcome, wrestling fans, to Fire Pro Weekly. This is Johnny Ventura, and as my cousin Jesse often says, I'm the man who calls it like it is because of that family tradition. What's that? You know, ladies and gentlemen, I have been asked many times if I really believe that I am the greatest Italian wrestler of all time. And I know that I am. So I decided to prove this by challenging the greatest Italian wrestler that many of you, the wrestling fans, agree is the greatest. And I will beat him, and then you will know that only Santino is the greatest Italian wrestler of all time. And that wrestler is not Dominic Dinucci. No, and the wrestler is not Bruno Zamatino with the big nose and the nasty ears. I'm going to call out the greatest Italian wrestler of all time, and then tonight I'm going to beat him. And that wrestler is Tony Garia. Tony Garia? Somebody's going to have to give him a geography lesson real quick. I don't know how to break this to you, Sunshine, but I'm not from Italy. I'm from Auckland, New Zealand, but I'd still be more than happy to walk into that thing and teach you a lesson. Oh, well, I guess it's my mistake. I saw your last name ended with a vowel, so I assume naturally you were Italian. No, 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 I do not think I will wrestle you tonight. I do not want to wrestle someone from Auckland, New Zealand. Did he just say awkward? Instead, then, I will go and challenge the next greatest Italian wrestler of all time. This is a man who I know is Italian heritage. And I will see you in the ring. Right now, I'm calling you out. A Salvatore Bellomo! So Santino wants to prove he's the greatest Italian wrestler by taking on the worst Italian wrestler. There's an interesting logic to that, I'm sure. There he is, Salvatore Bologna. I don't know that I would say he's the greatest Italian wrestler of all time, but he's definitely been in the ring enough to know his way around. Santino Morella might be in for a little more of a surprise than he's expecting. Fight! And Santino drops him on his head with a DDT. Malomo returns the favor by throwing him to the turnbuckle. Right now, a vicious European up and up. They'll lock up and test power and strength. That goes nowhere. Send Santino to the ropes on a big back body drop. This is the kind of stuff that Salvatore Malomo's good at. He knows how to throw a drop kick. He'll wrestle you side kick. He went through most of his career as a fan favorite. You see where that got him. And now Santino snap bears him over. And now Belomo is not happy. Oh, he looks to return the favorite to the turnbuckle. For those of you that were with us last week, you saw the NWO beat the Freebirds in a six-man tag match. Well, the Freebirds said they were screwed, and most people agree that they were. Michael Hayes has issued a challenge to the NWO. A best of three. One member of the... Freebirds will take on one member of the NWO. If the NWO should win two out of the three matches, then they walk away with the brand. However, if the Freebirds win two out of three, then we settle the whole thing with all six men in a steel cage. Santino might have bitten off a little more than he can chew. Belomo still had, oh wow, what a sweeping kick to the head. That might be the end of this match right there. Salvatore Belomo manages somehow to survive. And now Salvatore Belomo with the Indian death lock. He is clearly targeting the legs on Santino Morello.
Salvatore and Lomo still going after the leg. Goes for a cover and too close to the ropes. That won't happen. Lomo, wow, and another spin kick. And he rolls him up in a small package. Too close to the ropes to get it. Lomo is really trying to pull this win out. Santino, he calls this a taste of Italy. He's gonna get the three count right here. One, two, and chalk it. Oh, he kicked out. The Lomo kicked out. I don't believe it. Santino Morello is a little surprised himself. There's that Sabat kick once again to the back of the head this time. He'll go for the roll up. This one should be it. Oh, and he kicked out again. I don't believe what I'm seeing here. Salvatore Lomo's having a match of his career. Santino expected this kind of a fight on Salvatore Malomo. He might have him this time, though. No, he kicked out again. I cannot believe the fortitude of Salvatore Malomo in this match tonight. Malomo from behind. What's he going to do? He's going after the knee. Still working on that leg. He's worked on it all night long, and he's not done yet. Off the ropes, back body drop. Well done. Again, Malomo knows all those. Little... Wow, there's that big kick. Hey, wait a minute, what just happened? There's a rope break on the small package, but I think this match is over. Spinning Toho could be the end of it. I've never seen. I don't know what we just saw. Santino Morella is lucky he's still in this match somehow. He takes down Malomo, but he's in trouble. He's got to finish this match and do it quickly before it's too late. He's playing with Malomo, and you don't want to do that. Not the way this match is going. There's that big spinning kick once again. From behind, he catches an elbow. He throws Malomo into the buckle. What's he going to do? Puts him on the top. Oh, Malomo comes off with an arm. The forearm shot to the head, and he drops him. There's that flying Russian leg sweep. What's he going to do from there? He's got to stop picking him up, and he's got to stop hitting the man. You play with fire, you're going to get burned. Both men run head to head. They are both down. Referee should be counting both men and then not doing his job. Where do they find these referees anyway? There's a snap there by Belomo. And Belomo is just insisting on taking that leg out. This could be it. And no, he kicks out again. I don't believe it. There's a big kick. He's got him twice. He's picking him up for He had him beat. All right, he'll get him on this one. One, two, and finally. No, he kicked out again. I don't believe this. Paloma with a back elbow. And what's he going to do now? Spinning leg. He's got it. Yes, the spinning toe hold, and it's over. Paloma wins.